Former President George H.W. Bush has returned to Washington one final time. This afternoon, his body was flown from Texas to the nation's capital ahead of his state funeral this week. And now Americans are getting their chance to pay their respects to the 41st president who lies in state at the U.S. Capitol. ABC's Kenneth Moten has tonight's top story from Capitol Hill. Former President George H.W. Bush's final journey to Washington. The flight, Special Air Mission 41, touched down at Joint Base Andrews to a military salute. The flag draped casket followed by the Bush family, including son, former President George W. Bush. Earlier in Houston, the presidential plane commissioned during Bush 41's presidency and designated Air Force One when the sitting president is aboard served as the backdrop of a solemn military honors ceremony. The former president will lie in state inside the Capitol Rotunda, giving Americans a chance to say goodbye as the nation remembers a life of service. Could not have had a better influence. He taught me is, you know, family always comes first and you do what you can to help the world. Despite a long running feud with the Bush family, President Trump is taking part in the tributes this week, tweeting, looking forward to being with the Bush family to pay my respects to President George H.W. Bush. Bush 41's final words were to Bush 43, I love you too. The Bush Foundation releasing excerpts from the president's diary, including messages to his family. If you need me, I'm here. Devotedly, Dad. And in President Bush's final moments, loved ones say the 94-year-old was ready. He kept his sense of humor right till the very end, but his passing was very gentle and very peaceful. Here in Washington, President Bush will lie in state until his funeral at the National Cathedral Wednesday morning. Congress has delayed votes and canceled sessions as the country pays tribute to the former president. Kenneth Moten, ABC News, Capitol Hill. Well, leaders across the country are honoring the former president, including many of our local leaders. U.S. Senator John Thune saying Bush will be remembered as a great American that he hopes inspires future leaders. He does represent almost in a lot of ways kind of a bygone era in, in American politics. Um, but again, a great role model uh, and example for hopefully young leaders today who at least are paying attention to those who have come before. Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds also releasing a statement saying, quote, America lost a great leader with the passing of George H.W. Bush, a man whose legacy is one of service, statesmanship, and values. U.S. Senator Joni Ernst of Iowa saying, quote, he was a beloved husband, father, and grandfather, a veteran, and a true American leader. And in honor of the late president, all federal offices, including the United States Post Office, as well as most banks, will be closed coming up on Wednesday. And for continuing coverage of events surrounding the death of the nation's 41st president, make sure to go to SiouxLandProud.com at our homepage. Just click on the News tab. That's where you will find the George H.W. Bush tab. Also there you'll find a variety of stories about our 41st president.